I'm Laurie Worth from Massachusetts General Hospital. I'm a medical oncologist, and I'm here at the World Congress of Thyroid Cancer, London 2023. And we'll be talking very briefly about advances in anaplastic thyroid cancer. As you know, anaplastic thyroid cancer is one of the most aggressive diseases that we encounter uh, in our practices. Fortunately, there have been some significant advances in anaplastic thyroid cancer over the last five years or so. One of the most common driver alterations in anaplastic thyroid cancer involves mutations in BRAF at codon V600E. It turns out that we see these mutations driving about 40% of all anaplastic thyroid cancers. And the BRAF-specific therapy, dibrafenib and trametinib, has been studied in patients with advanced uh, anaplastic thyroid cancer. Uh, and those studies have yielded very high response rates, particularly for anaplastic thyroid cancer, as well as durable responses for a significant number of patients. And it was on the basis of these uh, studies that that uh, dibrafenib and trametinib achieved healthcare authority approvals uh, in many countries around the world. Now we're also learning that we can apply these therapies in patients um, at the time of their initial presentation um, in the setting of neoadjuvant therapy when patients with anaplastic thyroid cancer have BRAF V600E mutations uh, found on genotyping. We can reduce the tumor burden of the patients after initial presentation with systemic therapy. And many of those patients have gone on to um, undergo resection of their very bulky disease with better surgical outcomes than we might have expected without that neoadjuvant therapy. So more studies are being done in this field. Another recent advance is that we've seen that in a subset of patients with anaplastic thyroid cancer, we can see very good activity with immunotherapy. So particularly when patients have high PD-L1 expression, we've seen um, activity with the checkpoint inhibitor spartalizumab in patients with anaplastic thyroid cancer. So there's new hope on the horizon for patients with anaplastic thyroid cancer in terms of immunotherapy as well.